Hi, this is Jessica with Nifty Kit. Today we'll be showing you how to withdraw funds from your NFT collection and smart contract using Nifty Kit and directly from Etherscan. If you created your collection with Nifty Kit, we're going to show you how easy withdrawing through your dashboard will be. And if you do not have an account yet, you can always get one started for free. For custom contracts, you may need to go into Etherscan directly to withdraw. We'll walk you through both methods in this video. I'll keep this short since this is pretty easy. Option one, we're gonna log into your Nifty Kit account and go to your collection, connect your wallet that you use to create the NFT drop contract, make sure it's the owner. Then here to the overview tab, click withdraw, pay the gas fee, then your earnings will be deposited straight to your wallet. Now let's explore option two for custom contracts. This method is helpful if you have your own custom contract. This method is for all networks and even if it's not created using Nifty Kit. Before you start, you must have your collection smart contract address and some funds in your wallet since there will be a gas fee for the transaction. Go to Etherscan or Basecan if it's base, but since my collection is an Arbitrum, I am here on Arbscan. The navigation might have a slight difference since each network has their own blockchain explorer or etherscan and search for your contract address make sure you're on the contract level click your contract address on the profile summary the link should look something like this go to the contract tab and click write contract Connect to Web3 using the original wallet address that you use to create the contract. Now locate the withdraw function and click write. And that's it. Now you know how to withdraw your funds from your NFT collection through Nifty Kit or with your custom contract through Etherscan. Nifty Kit also offers more no-code NFT apps and tools for free like credit card minting, setting up pay what you want, a free art generator, and more. All of these are in our docs and all links are down in the description so you can refer to those in tandem with this tutorial.